Hello, one of the Anthony S. You are not alone. Let's mute that speaker real quick so it doesn't make double noise. Today is a Sunday, and I want to talk about Sundays because uh, I have many friends that work very hard, and I also have many, you know, competitors that work very hard. And I don't know it's necessarily competitors; it's more of like individuals that are in the same field as I am. And frankly, I don't really care to call them competitors. They're more like, you know, colleagues. We're trying to all do the same thing. We're trying to teach people how to manage better, help people find their why better, help, you know, how to hire better individuals. So I don't really know if competitor is the right word, but on the grand scheme of things, to make money, people have to hire you, and they have many choices, and there's other individuals they can hire. So there is some sort of competition. The reason why I like Sundays is a lot of people don't work on Sundays. And I'm not saying you have to work on Sundays. What I am saying is, for me, it's a free day. If I choose not to work, there's not many people that are going to be getting past me a little bit. But if I do work, I feel like I'm a little inched forward, at least comp- competing with the individuals that I am. And the big thing I want to talk to today about is, it's probably twofold action now that I'm really thinking about it. One, take those free days and, and work with them if you really want something. For me, it's you know creating this content. I want this content to go out daily, and to not use this day would be kind of silly. It's a free Sunday. I don't even, I don't have to work at anything else. I'm gonna reach out to some clients via text or email, set up some appointments, and then that's it. The rest is for me to get stuff done. So I'm not gonna. I'd like to not waste it. Uh, second piece is just making sure you're still efficient in the day, because just because you say you're working on a Sunday doesn't mean you're actually working on a Sunday and this is for overall like any day of the week you can say you put in six hours but if one hour was that was eating and 30 minutes was on YouTube and then another 30 minutes was you playing some video game or something it's like we're really only put in three or four hours so don't over over show yourself like for some people That's what they think I do on a Tuesday when I start at like 9 or 10 a.m. and then I finish up at the bar at 10 or 11. That's a real 13-hour day for me because not much of it is spent not working with the client or my own content. Maybe 20, 30 minutes in the middle there to eat some food, but the rest is for my content. Now, if it's like an early day where I start at 6 or 7, yeah, in the middle there I'm going to stop and talk to people at the coffee shop that I like. Because I I like talking to the regulars. But that's, I think you kind of have to do a little bit of that. Because that's where also I've, I've potentially gotten some of my clients. You know, those meetings, having fun with those individuals. And then learning who I can help, who I can't help. And then for the rest of the people, just having fun. So today I think I'm actually going to try to reach out to a friend that's working on their window. Um, and I want to help them out. And we we haven't been able to connect over the last couple of weeks. Maybe today's that day a few extra hours so we'll see but in the meantime just think about how you're using your time and as well if you're really tr- if you really want something use these Sundays because it's it's just an extra day you know you only get so many of these might as well this is the Anthony S you're in alone hope you're doing well talk to you all soon